Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 27th of September to the 3rd of October 2021. Hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading. So Scorpio, remember these readings are for seven days and they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Wow. We have opportunity. Divinely guided, you can see the heavens are opening up and showering this angel. So you're being told be open to receive. There's some kind of opportunity being presented. Let's see what that is. So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux with the oh, Legacy of the Divine. And these are the Angel Answer cards, obviously. Interesting, the same card that I had for Cancer, we have Virgo, the Hermit. Five of Coins. Ten of Wands. The Hanging Man. Okay, let's clarify, go deep into the message. Scorpio. Thank you. Knight of Coins. Long time coming, Scorpio. Definitely what I'm getting here. Some things are long time coming. Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Cups. The Hanging Man, Temperance. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. My goodness, your immediate outcome is the Emperor, the Hanging Man and the Temperance card. Something that you need to give serious thought to this week. Let's clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. Thank you. Page of Cups, always like seeing that. Clarify the Opportunity card. Thank you. The full new beginnings. A new beginning is opening up here. Clarify the emperor. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> the sun. That's beautiful. Another major arcana. My goodness, Scorpio. Big energies you've been experiencing and are about to experience. Bottom of the deck there, I've got the three of pentacles, which is an energy of, of building something up. It's the beginnings of success, it's very good in terms of money, career, finances. And that's what I'm getting here a lot. Some opportunity is coming your way. It's like spirit is telling you in a neon sign. <laughs> it looks very nice indeed. Some big opportunity. This is a big new beginning. The doors are being flung open. You're being told to take that leap of faith. Now, the reason why I'm saying take that leap of faith on this new beginning, it is an energy of sometimes not necessarily being sure, but just trusting. Because that's what the fool does. Takes that leap of faith into the unknown. Not fully knowing what he's jumping into, and sometimes that can be an energy of being, you know, the fool. In this instance, it just feels like you're being told trust. This is a God-given opportunity being presented to you, brought to you by spirit, the divine, the universe. Just go for it. Certainly an energy of things are about to look up. Recovery is coming your way. And... There is certainly an experience that you will be having this week of really 
maybe soul searching, needing to go within and to see the direction that you need to take in your external environment by being illuminated by source from within. You can see this is our inner navigation. This is our inner guidance. This is our inner wisdom. This is our inner answers. But it's not from, it's a place where source is giving you the guidance, the direction. And it is in terms of how you need to take action in your external environment. Again, the page of cups can be to do with some message coming your way. A little message. And generally it symbolizes positive energy. Things are about to look up. But you need to go within. You will be presented with some opportunity this week for some of you, that might not be everything that you want or expect. However, there is certainly an energy of taking a close look at it. Five of Pentacles can be an energy of changes in your money, career, finances for the detriment. It's a card of feeling lack, insufficiency, feeling out in the cold. And interestingly, These two energies can sometimes be, certainly with the Three of Pentacles being here, sometimes not seeing a gift when it's given to you. That is your challenge. Because we can sometimes focus on our normal approach, our standard approach, and you're really being told to be open-minded this week, Scorpio, because something is coming in that you're not sure that you want. Now, the Knight of, of Coins can be some kind of offer or opportunity coming your way. Very good in terms of job offers, business opportunities, contracts, client wins, new business, call it what you will. I mean, it's an abundant energy, and it's, a, an, it's an abundant energy that takes a while to appear. And I feel for some of you, it's like this is a long time coming, some kind of opportunity being presented. But the, the cards are signaling that you might not see it for the gift that it is. I'm even seeing the hand. You know, normally the five of pentacles can be an energy of asking people for money, you know. But in this energy, I'm, I'm still seeing this gift, the hand, the gift with the offer, someone making you an offer, and someone not necessarily seeing it for what it is. That's why you're being told you're going to have to take the chance, take faith. Sometimes this is an energy of just trusting that innate wisdom and intuition. We have the Ten of Wands. Challenge is about to come to an end, and that's what Spirit is saying. This is a burden, a challenge. It's been a tough road. However, it's a 10, which is a completion, and it can complete with some kind of offer. Now, yes, this can also be a connection or an opportunity. It feels opportunity with the card being big and bold in your header. This is somebody off being offered, and generally you see this card is given to you by God, the divine, the universe. Now, you might be focusing on all the other options or all the other things that you would like, uh, this is the standard thing that I'm going for. This is the template that I expect. Uh, this is what I want. I have a fixed set of in my head in terms of what I want. However, this cup that's being given to you by God the Divine, you're being told to look closely at it because it's a gift that will lift a burden, whether you realise it or not at the time. So certainly find more information about it. I mean, clearly, you know, this may not be for everybody, You'll know intuitively if it's for you. There's certainly an energy of take a deep look. Don't just dismiss things out of turn this week. This is an energy of because this is the opportunity that will lift a burden here. I feel that you have been in limbo. This Ten of Wands is a difficult journey. Some of you could have had job losses. Some of you could have been struggling in terms of money, career, finances, because there could have been change in your hours, in your contract, for, for a number of reasons. You know, there could have been some other issues. 
that may have burdened you. You know, that could have been health. It could have been other people, you know, um, Effect, you know, giving time to other people that could have affected your money, career, finances. I mean, you know, this is a general reading. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. The temperance card is a card of, of it is a card of patience, but it's an energy of in this decision, in this decision, don't react to it, don't dismiss something out of turn, but this is an energy of staying centred and in your truth. There's certainly an energy of, for those of you who believe in angels, angels are watching over you this week. Uh, they're very close. And I certainly feel that there is some kind of gift being brought to you this week Scorpio it feels really poignant in the form of some kind of opportunity again this can sometimes be an energy of missed opportunity you might not see it for what it is so be aware is what I'm saying I think you will be the sun is an energy of clarity illumination by source and again there is a real nice limit there's a real nice liberation with the sun card of liberating and opening up from preconceived self limitations or preconceived ideas you know this is about liberating from our own barriers as well our own restraints the sun is a card of success good news success celebration joy coming your way it's the happy energy and I feel somebody of influence in business. This could be a person in authority is bringing you some good news, some happiness, some joy in terms of money, career, finances. Uh, yeah, this the emperor can be the top bod, the owner, sometimes can represent the company as a whole. Um, or a, a client of some kind. I mean, however this resonates for you, this is manifesting as the beginnings of success, Scorpio. Joining a new team, starting up a new business collaboration. I mean, this is what the Three of Coins can mean. So whatever it means to you, it's the beginnings of success. The beginnings of manifesting success and laying the foundations for long-term solid growth. So you could be joining a new company. You could be working with other people to set up a business and beginning to get your first client. I mean, this is a lovely energy here of just, you have been waiting, you have been in limbo for whatever reason, but there's an energy here with this decision, stay centered and in your truth. This is an energy of not acting quickly and spontaneously but giving something the thought is required and then you can jump in, you know, then the message is dive straight in, go for this. It's a beautiful reading for somebody. Final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, I love this card. I'll read this one first. We have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. And it's coming to you in the form of cups because it's water energy, your energy. Do what you do best. Trust your heart. Trust your intuition. We have transformation. This very tells you to, attract, to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come and that's what spirit is telling you don't worry the best is yet to come lovely reading i hope you enjoyed it scorpio if you do please do like share and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you